My everyday carry system involves an everyday carry bag for me, an everyday carry bag for my wife, a Maxpedition fatty organizer, a first aid kit, and a couple of plastic ammo boxes that have gear and tools in there that I'm going to need with me or at arm's reach and my Jeep is always within arm's reach. We'll go over the contents of these bags in a few. So stay tuned. Wanted to give you a quick overview of the everyday carry bag that I've been using uh, for a little while now. This comes from National Parks Depot. We've got a web page at nationalparksdepot.us. Um, their whole catalog is there. They've got some really good equipment, a lot of really good gear, and I picked this up for $24.99 free shipping. It's uh, called the Military Style Shoulder Tactical Bag. And it's, got, it's ambidextrous, so you can wear it left hand, right hand, front, or back. It's got two big pockets with sleeves in either side here. And in the front, there's a small sleeve here and a zipper pouch in the front here. Molly strapping in the front and on the sides. Pretty comfortable back back here um, with some mesh on it that makes it nice and comfortable. It's got a, a, a Velcro strap right here in case you need to attach it to a belt um, to keep it from flopping around if you're going to be walking for some distance. And uh, in here there's a pocket that you can, uh, big enough to put it in, um, your concealed carry weapon, um, extra gear, that kind of stuff. So it turns out to be a pretty unique little bag, very reasonably priced. So go check it out at nationalparksdepot.us. Here's the contents of both our everyday carry bags. I've got one. Mine's the one that's got the beard on it. And my wife's got one because she's a nurse and it's got the first aid patch on it. And this is the uh, the contents of both of them put together. The whole idea with our everyday carry bags is that they're designed to get us home if we're within say 10 miles of home and the car breaks down and we've got to hoof it all the way or something else is going to happen, uh, you name it, terrorist attack, Armageddon, the day the stuff hits the fan. This is designed to be with us at all times, generally in the Jeep, and it's designed to get us home when we're within 10 miles of home. As far as content goes, um, pretty simple, straightforward. Got a pair of gloves, mechanics gloves, that I picked up at Harbor Freight for just a few bucks. I've got a life straw, just in case we need it. Each of us has um, a bottle of water with us. We've each got snap lights, glow lights, in case we need them. If we're going to be walking on a highway, you can activate these and hang them from your pack. Um, if you need some light and it's dark out, these do come in awful handy. Carry a big 42 gallon, um, 3 mil thick contractor's trash bag. Got some zip ties, a regular pen, a snack. So there's, you know, a, a cliff bar, some cheese crackers, a couple of slim jims in there. 
Got some wet ones just in case. Got a um, SOL survival blanket that should be big enough for the two of us. It's a one to two person in case we need to wrap up or take a snooze on the way back. Got a Swiss Army knife, a handkerchief, a bar of soap, a Midland walkie talkie. FRS, GMRS, we've each got one on our pack so that we can communicate if we get separated. Got a bar of soap, a Bic Lighter Mini. I'm carrying the S10 baton. Great little light. Got extra battery for it. Right in the rain notebook, some duct tape. We've got currency here with us. My wife has a lighter in hers, a bar of soap, a regular notepad, the other walkie talkie, an Altoids tin that serves as a mini first aid kit. It's got some uh, neosporin. It's got diaphenhydramine, a couple of band-aids, just enough to kind of get us wherever we need to get and get back home and we can bandage up a couple of wounds. She carries um, a Coast HX5, fairly bright little uh, flashlight, an extra folding knife, nothing special about that, liner lock, Pretty sharp. It's got a mini serration in here, but it's going to work um, for whatever we need the knives for. Got a Sharpie, got some more snacks, got the same snack pack that we got um, in my kit. There's a Mylar blanket, some hand sanitizer, another uh, big trash bag. There's a tiny Schrade model multi-tool. I mean, and it's, it's tiny. She's got some wet ones, some clips, a small carabiner, and that's the contents of both our bags together. They're designed to be somewhat duplicative, but not redundant. The bag itself, like I said before, is designed to make sure that we can get home if we're within 10 miles from home. Now there's a few other things that we carry with us in our Jeep that are going to come in handy and I'll show you those in a sec. Two more essential items that we carry with us in our Jeep at every opportunity that we have, unless we're using it someplace else, is the first aid kit and an extra Maxpedition fatty pack that's got enough cool stuff in it to kind of keep us going if that's the only thing that we can grab out of the Jeep in an emergency type situation. There's a pen, uh, a Sharpie actually, a great little pen and pen light that turns in to a pen by flipping it over. Got this uh, at a trade show from a uh, vendor, and that's what they were giving away is their little vendor gifts at their uh, trade show booth. Got a lockback knife that was a gift from my friends at the NRA. Got a big old um, safety pen that was a gift from a good friend. A couple extra batteries, a cigarette lighter, some band-aids, Got the um, J5 Tactical flashlight. Decent little um, tactical flashlight. Seems to be uh, fairly bright. Got some chapstick in here. Got some hand sanitizer. 
got a flash drive that's got uh, important documents in it, uh, copies of our driver's licenses, birth certificates, that kind of stuff. A couple extra um, Velcro straps and a fire kit in an Altoids tin that uh, I kind of put together. There's some fat wood in there, some cotton balls soaked in Vaseline, and um, a cigarette lighter just in case you need to build a fire. So that's what's in there. In our first aid kit, band-aids, scissors, hemostats, um, vinyl gloves, some bigger, um, bigger band-aids here. In here is um, pills, things like that, um, Advil, um, anti-diarrhea kind of stuff in uh, this tiny Altoids tin here. Got an emergency bandage just in case. Got another pair of scissors, some Benadryl, some tape, oral antiseptic, some gauze pads, an ace bandage, small one, Benadryl spray, some extra band-aids, hand sanitizer, more band-aids and bandages in there along with some more hand sanitizer, a clip, and a little flashlight just in case. Not very powerful, but at least it's there. These two items sit under the front seat in the Jeep 100% um, of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, unless we're using it for something else. So that's also part of our everyday carry system. Finally, here's the contents of the um, rest of our EDC system. In one of the plastic ammo boxes, is um, a Cobra DC to AC inverter that uh, we can plug into the cigarette lighter and power um, with two plugs here to get uh, um, AC power out of the Jeep. Comes in pretty handy. Um, 400 watts constant with a peak at 800. Not sure it's going to power up an instant coffee maker or anything like that, but um, it'll get the job done for the majority of things that we're going to need. On the other side, in this ammo box, I carry um, a gift pack that I, that I got at a conference uh, uh, years ago. It's got a flashlight, tire pressure gauge, and a very nice pen. Um, carry it mostly for the flashlight and the uh, um, tire pressure gauge so that uh, we've got one of those available in this ammo box here along with um, a screwdriver with a straight bit on one end and a big straight bit on the other end. Got a Ratchet, got a Versa wrench, half inch and nine sixteenths wrench, a roll of electrical tape, an extra um, pin for the trailer hitch, a socket that fits for this, some gummy straps, some tie downs, a four way. And I found out that uh, I really did need the four-way because the one that comes with the Jeep really doesn't give you enough torque to get it done. And it only comes in one size, and that's to fit the um, Jeep lugs. The lugs on our trailer are a slightly different size, so I invested in making sure I've got a good um, four-way lug wrench. And the final item that we carry with us in the Jeep at all times is the Stanley Fat Max power station. This thing is great. It's got an air compressor, it's got two AC plugs here, 
it's got a cigarette lighter input here and a USB port here that you can charge up uh, your phone that kind of a thing if you need to run power out of here uh, you've got the cigarette lighter hookup which uh, will fit something like fit, fit something like this in there great little thing to have um, in the in the container it's got a uh, charging plug and and uh, it, it does a super super job uh, on the back side of it it's got the uh, it's got a light Whoop. it's got a light and um, the clips for charging a battery I've used it a couple of times to charge a battery jump started a, a fellow that got stranded at the supermarket uh, those kinds of things but they're really really handy to have around. Well that's our everyday carry system I hope from what you've seen that you picked up some tips about how to make sure that you've got your gear covered using the seas of survival and that you can understand how I've approached our strategy for making sure that we've got the right gear that we have covered the two is one and one is none philosophy without being duplicative and redundant. If you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, and upcoming is um, our get home bags. And I'm going to tear those down and go through those and the strategy and the logic that we put into those to make sure that we've got our get home bags geared up right to get us home. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. And remember, be prepared always. Prepared Suburbanite. Out for now.